as a system administrator it is your responsibility to provide the required information to the management or to the client there may be situation where management request a complete list of active directory users in this video we will cover how to obtain the entire ad user list using powershell especially we will cover collecting the list of domain admins retrieving the total domain admin count gathering the total ad user count and collecting the complete ad user list so all these we will provide in this particular video i shall provide the entire powershell script in the description of this video so you can try it out and you can use it in the even it in the production because i have already tested it so uh, directly you can use it in the production environment all right let's do it now we have logged into the domain controller presently we are in the domain controller ad server and uh, before opening the powershell we will just check the powershell command to collect all uses from the active directory so powershell command to pull all user list in csv format so this is the command to collect it so we'll just analyze the command first before proceeding it we just say get hyphen ad user and filter it with properties what are the properties uh, some account name name number of employee id employee type so the properties you can mention it here accordingly and export this file csv file to the c drive with the dot csv format so in a csv format we will get entire user list by this command so let us do that for that we will go to the powershell and open it as a administrator so right click and run as administrator okay now we will copy this particular command and paste it in the powershell <coughs> and click on enter so command has been executed now we'll go to the c drive and we can see this file over there see we can see a csv file so we'll copy this file into the my desk laptop because there is no ms office in the domain controller there so we'll not be opening it in the proper format so i'm opening it with excel here you can see the complete ad user list with the with the properties we have given now we'll move to the second command where it is written command to collect the list of domain admins so in our domain we want to know how many domain admins are there we have to collect all the domain admin list we'll check we will use this command to collect the domain admin list so i'm copying that click on enter so again if you go to the c drive we can find out the domain admin who all are the domain admins again i'm copying this file to my laptop pasting it over here and opening it with the excel open with excel so we have only two domain admins one is administrator one and one is in my name jojo paul so these are the two domain administrators so we get the uh, domain admin details now we will check to collect the total domain admin count see we somebody is asking uh, see how many domain admins are there in your active directory so we want to know the count of the total domain admin we can use this particular command so i'm copying the command and pasting it over here so it will provide you the command see you have there are two domain admins as you can in the list here we have only two domain admins same count you can see over here now the other question to get the total ad user count so how many ad users are there in your domain in your organization if someone asks you can use this command to get the complete ad user list i'm pasting it over here not get copied control c and pasting it over here click on enter so we have 30 ad user from the list we can check it out whether it is right or not see 32 comes because there is one line over here and the other line here so it is right only 30 users are here so the count is right we have 30 ad user so in with all these uh, commands we can 
get the end their ad user list in uh, excel format and domain admin count ad user count all this we can we have the script here i shall provide this command in the description box you can use it in the production environment i have already tested it you can use it that's it we shall meet you in another tutorial video bye